Tonight, the sectors and several police departments are searching for suspects in the killings of five people across Hampton Roads this weekend. I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. Two people were killed in Virginia Beach, one in Portsmouth, and two died in a triple shooting in Norfolk yesterday on Aspen Street. Tonight, your sides, Tamara Scott was there reporting live this weekend and joins us with today's update. Tamara. Well, we now know that it was 62-year-old Milton Washington Jr. and a 16-year-old who were killed last night in these apartments here behind me. Now, while the families and police tried to make sense of this tragedy, the weight of the situation is being felt by nearby neighbors. Close family members of 62-year-old Milton Washington Jr. say he lived for his family, especially his grandchildren, who he held close to his heart. I'm told he was a hardworking man who kept to himself. So for many family members, today is still hard to grasp that he was killed by gunfire. Police responded to the 1500th block of Aspen Street around 9 last night. When they arrived, they found Mr. Washington and a 16-year-old boy dead at the scene. They also found another man who was sent to the hospital. Family tells me that gentleman is Mr. Washington's son and suffered non-life-threatening gunshot wounds to both his upper and lower body. Just down the street, Tim Belcher says he has seen issues rise in the area, but never expected to hear of this type of violence. That's the main thing, that uh, it's sad that, you know, that the people got shot, and um, I feel for their families, and, you know, ever what happened, I don't know. You don't have to pick up a gun to... Uh, to solve a dispute. Although he's not involved, he worries now if his own family is safe and is concerned for the future of the community. Still, that, that's sad when you got to think that you got to protect your own home from right down the street. These are supposed to be my neighbors. They're supposed to be looking out for each other. And, you know, that's what the community is about. Now, we're still lurking, learning, working to learn more about the circumstances surrounding the shooting, and police have not released any suspect information at this time, but I'll keep you updated with the latest on air and online at wavy.com. In Norfolk, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.